Frontier. So, I've spoken about this before. I think Frontier is going to have a very good bull cycle from where it is, particularly because I think there is a narrative regarding wallets that's going to be taking over in the next bull cycle, and I'll explain what that is in this video. But I think that's going to push a lot of wallet based coins to the moon, for lack of a better phrase, right? Um, so, we'll get into that in a second. Before I do, though, guys, if you're new to the channel here, these are the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. In the videos, I bought these coins, and that was because I expected them to make me very good money. And you can see what these coins were worth uh, when I recorded and released my videos, as well as the highs that these coins hit in under a year and a half. Um, also, you can see what the profit would have been for you if you would put in $100 into each of these coins when I released the vids and then sat on them for a year and a half and then sold them. And if you had done that for each one, your total profit would have been over 123 grand, which is not too bad. Now, I sold all of these, we had the market crash and since that, I've been buying up new coins. These are coins that again, I think are gonna make me very good money. These are coins that could 50 or even 100 times my cash. And I share them on my website, which is copymycrypto.com. And if you go to the description in this video, you'll be able to see it and you'll be able to go there. Copymycrypto.com is where I jump onto the site. When I find a coin that I think can do a 50x or 100x, I tell my members what the coin is. I tell them what percentage of my money I'm putting in and they can copy along. It means they make the exact same profits as me, the added bonus as well. They don't have to trawl through 300,000 million uh, different cryptos to try and find these winners. When I found Phantom in 2020, I read through 20 odd thousand white papers. I read through all of the crypto white papers. When I found it, I did a whole course about why Phantom would be the best investment of 2020. It's still on Udemy. It cost 20 bucks. People that took that course, many of them became millionaires because many of them put in thousands of dollars. I'm still in communication with them. And hell, if they'd have only put in the 20 bucks the course cost, they could have made 14 grand. When I find another phantom, it just goes straight to the members on copymycrypto.com. So if you want to find out more about the site, go there now. You'll see what I've said in the past. You'll see what the members have made. It's all public record. Verify it all. And if you like what you see, guys, join me there. So Frontier. Frontier's only been through one bull cycle. Um, went from sort of 20 cents all the way up to about four or five bucks in the last bull cycle. In fact, it's all time high. Let's have a little look-see was $6.99, actually. So it just shows how crap the peaks are on CoinMarketCap. Now, <clears throat> Frontier is a chain agnostic DeFi aggregator. The project aims to add DeFi support to several blockchains, including Banchain, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and Harmony. Uh, Frontier's app allows users to manage staking, DeFi positions, best rate asset swapping, liquidity mining, collateral de collateralized debt position uh, creation, and monitoring. In a nutshell, it's the all-in-one platform for DeFi. Uh, they began their development in 2019 and their beta platform launched in 2019 as well. The founders are uh, spread across the world. Well, the founding team is spread across the world, but you've got Ravindra Kumar, Palesh Jain, and Vetri Chelvan Jayapalapandi. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm butchering your names, bro. I got like, I genuinely. Um, so they've got great experience in terms of development they've got great experience in terms of uh entrepreneurship you know they've and they've got a uh, great blockchain experience as well um and you can see all of their uh respective <coughs> uh what's it <coughs> experience in this um what makes this uh what makes frontier unique is this DeFi aggregators like a, it's is finding the best possible opportunities right um so you can do swapping you can do borrowing you can do lending you can do staking aggregating all of these different approaches means that you can literally just do everything from one place you don't have to go into 16 17 20 odd apps right they've got frontier also claims that non-custodial wallets are mostly suitable for storing crypto assets but are unusable when it comes to DeFi. this forces users to download multiple wallets in an attempt to participate Frontier integrates several wallets, such as Metamask, Fortmatic, Coinbase Wallet, Trust Wallet, and IAM Token. Its users don't have to transfer the crypto assets between different wallets to participate in DeFi. 
Again, really, really good idea. They are the non-custodial, effectively they are the non-custodial wallet for crypto. And now a word from our sponsor. So BRN are a Web3 AI metaverse project. It began two years ago. It's one of the projects that was that made the first pre-sales uh, with the Web3 ecosystem and built their own pre-sale platform. The services right now that they've provided are a pre-sale platform, a stake platform, uh, their metaverse universe that is closed uh, for beta right now, but will be opened within the next couple of months. Um, in addition, they're creating a new ecosystem by building revolutionary blockchain communication with Web3. In AI, BRM Metaverse will build wearable tech with artificial intelligence to make their game dynamics feel better to the players. Instead of virtual reality glasses, they'll produce optical and sunglasses um, that enable users to have them as accessories in their daily life. With these, they'll not be, only be able to uh, see everything in their universe as part of uh, life by entering the game. They do not want to uh, be sufficient with just these dynamics. They want to bring um, you into the universe biologically. For this, they'll be producing smartwatches, wristbands, and make you feel the dynamics and battles in the game in real life. So it will not only be a metaverse universe, but a virtual universe. In Metaverse, BRN's biggest problem of the GameFi projects is giving their own tokens in the game and players constantly selling this token and lowering its price. BRN Game is the best dynamics, graphics and fields to date, a new generation of MMORPG uh, games. While, they are many, while there are many uh, income methods in the game, these incomes are paid in USDT. They've combined three techs to open the game to the whole world, Web 1, Web 2 and Web 3 because the game can appeal to everyone and you can strengthen your characters in the game with the BRN token. You can fight with your opponent with BRN and if you win the battle, you can take the BRN that your opponent left in the pool. In short, when the game opens, BRN will strengthen a lot and will gain good momentum just like Axie Infinity. Uh, their game will initially come out in the Play Store and Apple Store on iOS and Android uh, and their closed beta will be open in two months and they'll distribute $5,000 in prize pool money. Now, not only this, their token economics are fantastic. Right now, their max supply is 229 million tokens. Their total is 228 million. Right now, the circulating supply is only 21.5 mil. However, over the next three months, they are burning 90% of the tokens. So that will bring the max to uh, the max um, maximum supply down to 30 million, the total supply down to 29 million, so that make, means over 70% of the supply will already be out. Now, bear in mind as well, this currently is priced at around 20 cents. You know, we will see, when you see a coin that's a 30 million supply, you quite often see that at, at least a $30 price point. So this is already hugely undervalued. Um, meme, the, of all, they've also launched a meme coin pre-sale to grow the BRN ecosystem. You can participate in this at ico.draycoin.net. Um, this ends January 5th uh, and the listing for the token will begin January 6th. Every BRN that you spend doing uh, this ICO will be burnt from the supply as well. They are listed on MEXC, Gate, Bitmart, XT, uh, LA Token and Buybox and bigger exchanges are coming. So if you've not checked this out, guys, there's links in the description. Have a look at this because once that supply is reduced, I would expect this token to pop. Um and they're integrated onto, like I said, they're, they're chain agnostic. You've got Cosmos, you've got Ethereum, you've got Near, you've got bloody Solana, you've got uh, Polkadot, you've got plenty, right? Um, and look, I think this is outstanding. Like I really do. It's a cross-chain bridge. The cross-chain bridges are built right into your wallet. It's as easy as it gets. You can earn really good ROI with liquidity pools, yield farming or lending. And again, it's aggregated across all the networks. You can stake right inside your Frontier wallet for up to 15% uh, APR. You've got NFTs, uh, collection and management. You can see all your NFTs. Um, they support 65 plus blockchains, over 100 different dApps. Their partners are Beasts, it's Carver, it's Coinbase. You know, these are not small names. Uh, Bitcoin.com, you know, um, and the reason that I am bullish on this is one particular, two big reasons actually. 
Number one, DeFi is going to have a run. DeFi will always have a run now. Uh, and particularly after the last sort of year, a couple of years where we saw centralized exchanges screw people over, um, whether that was because of fraud or because of mistakes, either way, it was the users, it was the people that got hurt. And those people will not touch centralized exchanges um, again. There'll be, you know, some will, but the majority will want to be in control of their own assets, which that's what everyone should be. Uh, and to do that, you need a wallet. And the second reason that I think we are going to see a real narrative takeover in the next bull cycle is MetaMask are going to drop their own coin. We know that's going to happen. And this is not like, yes, it's speculation in terms of, but only in terms of when. Like everyone knows at this point that MetaMask are going to release a coin. And when that happens, MetaMask's, that coin will probably end up being in the top 20 in terms of market cap. It will probably be very similar to how Uniswap's market cap came out of nowhere. Basically, once the airdrop happened, it was like a top 20 coin, right? And MetaMask will be the same. And MetaMask will kick off an enormous discussion point in all of crypto, in all of mainstream media, about the importance of custody, of self-custody, and by having your own wallet. And then, then a narrative shift takes over where everyone, you're seeing MetaMask pump, and guess what? Trust Wallet will pump. You'll see XD5 pump. You'll see Frontier pump. And the added benefit for Frontier is Frontier's got an all-in-one DeFi ecosystem built into the damn wallet that's spread across multiple chains. And people will realize how undervalued Frontier is. And if that narrative kicks off, I can see Frontier hitting a $10 sort of price point. I, it's the same principle as what we saw in the last bull cycle with, um, <clears throat> or in any, like in any bull cycle. So when Dogecoin pumps, you see meme coins pump. When Oracle, when Chainlink pumps, you see Oracles pump. When Ethereum pumps, you see the layer twos pump. And when MetaMask launches, you're going to see wallets pump. And Frontier right now is undervalued. That's just the reality. It's going to, and I can see a $10 coin here because I think people will want, people are going to want to use DeFi. And again, that MetaMask narrative is going to be huge. It's going to be massive. It will be on every financial news channel going. And then all of a sudden, what happen, What will happen is the same thing that always happens. There'll be there'll be a huge focus by influencers, whether that's Twitter, YouTube, whatever. And by the way, I hate the word influencers. It's such a wanky term, but it is what it is. Influencers will take over and start really focusing on the undervalued category that's booming. We've seen it this past year where lots of lots of YouTubers or, or Twitter, crypto Twitter what, handles or whatever have been focused on AI because AI has been the narrative and then that has been pushed within the social media realms. That's what will happen with the wallets. And Frontier is undervalued. It just is. It's a proper solution. People can use it. And it's very, very strong. And I'm looking at this and I go... Look, man, all-time high was like $7. I think you can boost that by about 50, 40, 50%. I think that can hit, this can hit 10 bucks. I really do. And I think it's just a matter of time before, you know, that happens. It, 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 literally what's going to, the moment that that happens will be, you know, maybe a month or two, three months maybe after the MetaMask coin is released and however MetaMask do that, whether that's an airdrop based on the users of MetaMask or whether that's, I don't know, an ICO. I mean, it would depend on how they want to do it. But once that narrative, once they do that, the narrative shifts from AI. No one's talking about AI as much. They're talking about wallets. And when they're talking about wallets, they're going to 
As always, people will look at the undervalued ones, and the undervalued ones right now are Frontier and XDeFi, and they're going to be the ones that pump. Um, but let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Do you think... But do you think I'm right? Do you think there is going to be a huge narrative shift? I, I, I just can't see how it doesn't happen. I think, I think it will move into the mainstream. The huge pump will lead... The, the MetaMask will have will lead to a lot of influencers talking about it. That influencers shift will then focus on oh what's undervalued. Uh, I'm just doing it before they do because I can see this happening. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, guys. Uh, and if you want to make the same profit as me in the next bull cycle, head over to CopyMyCrypto.com. That's the site I run where I share with my members every coin that I own. Anytime I find a crypto that I think can do 40 or 50 or 100 times my money, I buy it. And what that means is I will jump onto the site, I will tell my members what the coin is, the profits it can have and the percentage of my cash I'm putting in, and they can copy along exactly. It means they make the exact same profits. Huge, huge bonus as well as they don't have to do 30,000 hours of reading of 30,000 different coins. They can just copy along. All research is gone, all, F all time and energy is gone, but the profits are there. And if you've never gone on to CopyMyCrypto.com, go to the link in the description and check it out. On the site, you'll see what I've said in the past and what happened. You'll see what the members have earned. All can be verified on this channel. And if you like the idea, you like what you see and you want to try it out, then I'll see you there, guys. And that's it from me. Take it easy. Bye-bye.